hi guys welcome to tutorial space with Ola and in this tutorial we will be dealing with the make part sketch tool and for this tool I have created a little bit of a sketch here so this is a very simple sketch with these dimensions here the reason I did this is so as to speed up the process of explaining this tool for now we have simply a circle of 65 millimeter diameter and then we have a construction line here of 235 millimeters i also have here a circle that was created with 85 millimeters radius another created here at the distance of 135 millimeters the circle here created at 37.5 millimeters radius and then I created two lines to join them together and then added relations to make those two lines to be tangential to the two circles. And after doing that, I trimmed off the rest of this circle here, trimmed off the rest of this circle here. And then I also created this dimension for the distance between the origin and the top part of this construction line. So if you are able to do that, then you would also have this in front of you all right so first of all you notice that this tool is just this way we're unable to rotate this around and that's because we have dimensioned it almost fully defined as of now it's all not defined but then we cannot just rotate this around right and if i click on this line here it's also not able to be rotated around and that's because the center is fixed this is also fixed but um this can be moved up and down because i mean there's no distance between the center of this circle with this origin point all right so with that done the make part two is used to convert an ordinary closed contour such as this into a part so when i mean part i mean like a come and follower kind of setup in which when this moves around by the time it comes in contact with the follower that is this being the cam and this being the follower and it comes in contact with the follower then the follower will move in tangency with the um circumference of the cam <laughs> i hope you understand that um so what we'll be doing here is to create the driver part of a cam so this will be the driver and this would be the follower and in engineering terms, creating the driver will simply mean that we are creating the cam. So here, I will demonstrate. The make part 2 will, cannot be found anywhere here within this um, tab or within this ribbon. So where we would find that is going over to tools, moving down again to sketch tools. And then we have make part here. I select on the make part. And then it is indicated that we select entities that are end-to-end -end coincident and form a single chain. So this qualifies for that because it's completely closed. That's simply what they mean here. It forms a single chain going around and goes end-to-end. End-to-end means that there's no gap between. Alright, so I'll select the entities. I could select them one by one or just select within this contour space. So I haven't done that, all of the sketch entities are selected and I click on check. So with this done now, you might be noticing that, okay, so what's the difference? The difference is this, now if I select on one line, you notice that the entire thing is selected and you can see also path properties here. So this will be our driving path, so I will just leave that that way and then I move this. Now you notice that this is able to move around, right? which it wasn't able to do before so i'm rotating this around and on getting here i'll bring this one down okay so on moving this way the rotation is kind of tricky you notice that the circle there is actually not been affected by this yet right so what do i do i select on this select control and click on this line and say tangential all right 
so with that done as i move around and i notice that with the movement of the cam or with the parts the circle itself is also moving so let me try to rotate it from down from over here rotation is <laughs> all right so we see this here now so this is what we mean by making a part so mind you these are just sketches and then the circle there is following the parts moving up and down with the motion of the part so this is what we mean by making parts okay so this is looking strange all right so don't bother when you see stuff like that it's just the software acting up all right so with this now this is how we make parts with solidworks 2019 or any solidworks software and so this is where we end with this tutorial and i'll see you in the next tutorial where we deal with the dynamic mirror 2.